Watcha? No. Come on, get up here, Nairo people. Catch him. I would tell you to get a cup of water. I don't know how to get out. Feels it, knows it. That's why Mr. Stressor. Strider. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Painful DIY. I'm Geta Pain, and you're watching Building a Jamaican Home Series. So, today we have a very excited video for you guys. I know you have been eagerly anticipating this video. But before we get into this build, I'd just like to say thank you to the family bless up thank you to lando thank you to zeno thank you to junior thank you to anna who have been on site with us all the way without you guys this wouldn't be possible today so I'd just like to say mommy daddy bless up for the support and let's dive into this bit okay so what i'm doing i'm trying out something i'm trying to tape out these walls so that it doesn't bleed on the column the concrete don't bleed upon the columns it's very hard to wrap the tape in a small space because this tape is very sticky as soon as it touch itself it's thick and can't unfold so i'm covering the hole hoping that it no bleed down on the columns and then make a wrap a plastic bag or a garbage bag around the head of the column from downstairs because i'll see how well that works I said today we were instructed not to start prepping the decking until we saw the trucks. And as soon as we saw the trucks, we started to soak the palm work. Soaking the farm work before pouring the mixture swells the lumber and tighten up any joints also prevent water from escaping the mixture. area is almost 700 square feet so we bought 13 cubic yards of concrete for coverage one of the disadvantages of using a premix concrete company is location we had an issue with parking as the house was too far away from the parking lot and thanks to Zeno who dove right into action finding the perfect spot he even went above and beyond when the neighbor started to complain about the truck parking in front of her yard when you say you can park yourself? Yeah, you can a bit and get two legs. How far out? How far out? Given this, the fact that the span is not too. How wide out you put them? Like this side though. Yeah. Facts about concrete. Port and Cement is named after the limestone of a similar color developed in 1824 by Joseph Asden. Portland Cement is widely used today as the aggregate for most concrete. Asden heated limestone and clay to produce a render, which could pass for the sought after limestone, Portland Dorset. He quickly discovered it could be used for house building and patented the material.
think I talked to you about what coming. Yes, I'm yeah. coming on the come chant for you know, honestly. What? You might say we should have come tell her first. I'm gonna tell her to say never planned. Explain to never planned for this so. And that way, that Zina explained to her yes, so okay. Me do. I'm saying, bye bye.
47 semi z put smizer put smizer see the pump when i put smizer this is really remote here is uh, uh, this send signal to a receiver for the truck down there so. uh, because uh, you have an antenna down there so. oh okay you have a receiver so anything you do here so mm -hmm. you pick up the signal and do it you do anything at all in terms of if it pump it and not to drive it up uh, so how you know when to stop and when to pour on them something? Because right. I hear him talk and I kneel right beside him and I couldn't hear him. I'm not seeing him having an earpiece. No, no I watch, watch the pour, you know. Oh. I watch the pour. Oh, okay. So if you like me ready, you know, if you pour concrete, you just touch your hand, by your, touch your hand and signal him down there. So. Oh, okay. So he knows I'm ready. Aye. It's a view. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. Once I go stop. Yeah, in the world, watch it, man. I, I, once, once I go stop, I just um, give me a signal for the hand again. Aye. And he knows I'm ready to start. Just like why the concrete finish in the hand when I'm going to Oh, okay. Because I said finish. Alright. So, I can interview you, you brother. I'm still having to fix my pocket in the car because I'm a manager. Yeah, yeah, I'm a manager. He's just a, he's just a mixer driver, man. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, truck yeah, yeah, driver. Slash, 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 slash mixer pump driver. Pump and a pump oh, man okay. as well. Yeah, no, pump, yeah, pump man, I pump up a Yeah, pump up a rate. Ah, respect to that, brother. That's what we do, the barrier pump, and all the more pump up a rate. It goes without saying that any amount of concrete that you get on the neighbor's wall, it's your responsibility to clean it. Fortunately, I have great neighbors and they told me that it's fine and they'll clean it. With the quick dry solution in the mixture, it was recommended that we damp the concrete as soon as it's finished pouring. Hearing the term drop the bucket has nothing to do with the term a drop in the bucket.
the company would have to add an additional yard just to be able to pump the sufficient concrete to cover the surface. So you would have to prepare an area that will take a cubic yard or more. Get up here in that road, people. Catch him. I will tell him to take up by road push. Yeah, and run up and down and run back and forth. Switch up. We're not going to keep them getting there. Well, it's obvious we don't ever get in a month. So we're passing them road. Road is the best way to get me Road. Look at this. I think I, I think I'm on one name. I'm going build for this stuff. Look how they blows and skirt. Watch her now. Watch her now. Watch her now. I'm here for the cat. So this is one of the reasons why I pay for them to use the vibration and let me never carry the vibrator. 
So I don't know if I can see this. There was a lot of there's a lot of foam from the concrete circling here. This is nothing but just suds of froth from the mixture that was settled here. That's why I wanted the vibration to get rid of all of these things. So you see this hole right here? The water just settling it when I threw it the coil. When I came here the whole I just uh, it was just like some bubbles, like sod. Like pure sod. I mean just scrape it out to see how deep it goes. But that is the reason why it's leaking now. So this is not a problem, you can just mix up some concrete. If we dig it out back to see how far the sod go. If then they use the vibration, everything would all get grip onto the wall tighter and all. There's less cracks in the roof. And one of the reasons for that is tying the tying of the steel. So if you tie the steel properly, there won't be any vibration when they're walking and pouring. Because it'll be them have to walk on top of the steel. So there's only one crack and it's this steel right here and it goes along. I don't know what I missed that steel here. And then over this side it look like it did tie properly either. So you can see where the vibration of the steel caused these cracks. You see over the side here there is some more cracks. This side was definitely not tied. I was supposed to tie it onto this. I was supposed to tie this side onto this and that slipped me. All of, it, all of the excitement of what to do and you can never be too prepared. There's always something is going to be missed. Uh, right here now, there's a puddle of water so you know so there's a, a sink there. From the water here from last night. So it's no longer sucking the water. So sun I will come up to dry the water, but we still keep the concrete cool. Check the levels. Yeah, I love how it look. I love it. And then there's a little puddle right there as well I uh, can see them never go with the card and you can see the fiber in it fiber is holding on to the card Try our next place with the level. That's good. I'll try it over here, sir. <coughs> Still in there.
people if you down in the ghetto It's not easy if you know And it's a struggle every day when you grow down a soul Like soldier you grow